Secondly, the issue of time. My brothers and sisters, many of us are guilty of not spending time with our families. Time will build your relation to the degree that you live happily ever after. Because time is very valuable. Spend time with your wives, your children, your, your family members. Very, very important. Sometimes people sit with their friends. Sometimes they sit on computers. But I'm at home. So what? You're sitting on the computer. It's as good as being somewhere in another country altogether. Because when you are on a computer, and this has happened to all of us, when you are seriously working, they can be talking to you. You don't know what they said. Nothing. You just, you know, <laughs> the, the, the typical one. Would you like some tea? Yes. Did you even hear what they said? You didn't. They say, so do you know today I went to the school? Yes. You know, today uh, it was your child's graduation. Yes. You know, today he won a prize. Yes. But you haven't heard anything. You know, you are very stupid. Yes. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Why? Because you didn't hear anything. He just said, yes, yes, because you are busy with in another continent. That is time. You are not giving time. Set aside a time, put away something, spend it with them. Look at them, talk to them. Wallahi, this is how you will help your children one day to live happily ever after. Because they saw my father did this. I will do it also for my spouse. My mother did this. I will do it for my spouse. Today we have a difficulty. Father is in his own world. Mother is in his own world. And the children are in their own world. When they get married, they are also in their own worlds. Because that is how they grew up watching their parents in their own worlds. But when the father spent time with the mother, they were very fond of each other. They, they, you know, they exchanged these very romantic glances and whatever else may have been within respect in front of the children. Obviously respect is required, but they need to see that there is affection between the two of you. So when they grow up, they understand that love is not just about the outward looks of a female, but it is something far deep. After my mother gave birth to so many children, still my father considered her as the rose of his life. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Look at this. So the child learns. But no, father is busy. He doesn't have time for mother. But when the secretary walks in, oh yes, how are you? Okay, yes, have a seat. Can I get you some coffee? But mother was asking you if she could get you coffee. Now you are asking her if you could get her some coffee. And this is a totally different person. Allahu Akbar. So the child watches. So what are we doing? We are reducing the chances of the child living happily ever after, let alone ourselves. Because the child is watching. This is why we say spend time with your children. Very important. I put a value at one meal a day with your child is worth 10,000 US dollars and probably more. More because sometimes that meal a day might make your child say something. You guide the child. You spoke to the child. Had it not been for that, they would have got guidance from someone else because they never get a chance with you. And then they make a wrong decision in life which results in their total destruction. What then? It only costed you a meal a day. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. This is why get home early. Don't go every day and say there was a lecture tonight. This is why we only remain here for three nights or four and we go away. So you cannot go home and say tonight there was a lecture. Which lecture? What did they say? Are you going to say that they said we must not spend time wasting time outside. We must get back home, physically home. Even your friends, believe me, many marriages have broken because of friends. The friends say, hey, yeah, you know, what, you, what are you doing, man? You know, you, how can you be controlled by your wife? You want to go home. The time is only 10 o'clock, man. The night is still young, but my wife is also young. <laughs> Remember that if the night is young, your wife is even younger. She deserves it more than you. My brothers and sisters, many marriages have been broken because of late nights. People sitting on the internet, people chatting haram way to people they are not supposed to be in touch with. How did it bring you goodness? Wallahi, it doesn't. You want to live happily ever after? Close it. You don't need to be on that chat. It's, it, life will not come to a standstill without you. Believe me. But your real life may come to a standstill with that chat. Do you know that? Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us control. The internet is a tool that is so addictive that you lose track of time the minute you are hooked onto it. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us understanding.